if you stay for this. You guys do that for me? Yeah. Get in the track, have fun. You still have me in the you got this! Come on, Emily! 21. Southwestern League final with Austin Montez from Great Oak, the Southwestern League champion in the season that almost seemed like it was never going to come. First off, as far as the battle there, Jake Bustamante from Chaparral and yourself going at it, did you figure it might be, he might be the one to beat coming in? Uh, so the last race I did, uh, I, I ran against Bustamante. He actually beat me. And uh, once I from that point forward, I just kept like, I had that like, in mind. I just kept focusing like, okay, I got to try to stick with him. If he beats me, that's all right, but I'm going to try my best to beat him. He has been, he's been a huge motivation to me. Uh, I've, been I've been just chasing him the whole time. And then luckily when it came down, so I managed to win. If there's another race, there's a chance he would have won. It's just at this point, a flip of a coin. <laughs> He's a really good runner. I respect him. But really During well. the race, you mentioned the course was a little bit, a little, it was different from the past. Ex explain a little bit. Uh, so Galway Downs, there's like a bunch of different variations of Galway. Uh, I've only ran, let's see, two or three of them. This one is supposed to be based off of one that I was ran last year. I actually never got to run that course, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. So this one's very similar to that one. I liked it quite a bit. So pretty fun, uh, a little bit muddy, but like other than that, it was perfectly fine. <laughs> Coming down that last stretch, did you feel like it was going to be yours, or did you? Was how much doubt was there? How much confidence was there in that last stretch? I had no idea what was going on. I, well, like, well, obviously, I can. I knew I was in a race, but uh, what's going? I knew like uh, Bustamante. I, I had him like literally. I pictured him like literally right on my heels the entire time. I had no idea if he was a thousand meters behind or two feet behind me. Uh, I kept thinking he was going to come across any second. That I just focused on that to get me through the line. <laughs> How strange a season was this for you with all that's been going on or not been going on? This is, uh, uh, I think March 13th, so this Saturday, I think. Uh, that would mark like one year since we've been like, since school got shut down. Everything got canceled that day. I remember like, from that point forward, I just started focusing like, okay, track's done, gotta focus on cross country now. Just grinding in and out. It's definitely very different doing everything on your own versus like uh, in practice and stuff like that. But like when you find like the right motivation, you work with the right people, your fr the friends, uh, the, integrity that we all have yeah so it definitely that definitely uh, adds on to it basically so you were able to stay pretty pretty focused despite all of the, the challenges yeah pretty much I just had I just kept thinking like uh, cross country got to focus on that as soon as that's over gotta get ready for a track so. so track and field the way things are beginning to slowly open up looks like we'll have at least some version of a track and field to what degree we don't know yet but uh, how excited are you for that uh, Pretty, pretty excited, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it's, it's going to be, hopefully it could be a bit more than just league races. These are fun and all, but I do miss some of the bigger ones like Woodbridge, Mount Sac, things like that. Uh, if we could, let's go. I definitely miss like big track me invitationals. Like I always remember getting ready for those each, uh, each week and preparing on like maybe like, okay, this week I'm going to try to get a PR 16. Next week's going to be 800, you know, things like that. <laughs> So the Western League, one of the more competitive leagues in the state, obviously you guys are a big reason, a big part of that. When did you first think in your mind that you could be the Southwestern League champion? When did it first enter your mind? Honestly, I, I halfway through the race. <laughs> that late. <laughs> what's called, like, uh, I don't really, like, I was a little bit confident going into like the very beginning of the season, uh, what's called, started, uh, so I'm getting a little nervous when I first met Bustamante. I thought like, oh shoot, this guy might be it. Like, right. And I thought like, okay, if he's gonna be, I'm gonna be second. Like, that's my goal then. But uh, obviously, like, uh, obviously I kept pushing. So like, yeah, I I figured out like this race. Like, all right, I'm gonna try my absolute best to do it. And in the end, it was me. Like I said, any other race, he might be. Able, it might have been him as well. Huh? All right, Austin Montez, your Southern League champion from Great Oak. Congratulations.